Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have a new recipe for you, which is one of my favorite things to make. I cook this in my house maybe once every fortnight and it is banana bread. But not just any normal banana bread, it is a chock chunk banana bread. And it is a super healthy version. This is vegan, it doesn't use any sugar, no butter or anything nasty. So let's get started. <laughs> introduce you all to Coco. She's my little dog and she likes to watch everything I cook. So you'll probably see her hanging around on my videos. So your first step is to preheat your oven. I've got mine now at 180 degrees Celsius. Let's start with our dry ingredients. We're needing two and a half cups of oat flour. You don't have to go and buy any fancy oat flour. We can just make it ourselves. So I've already made one cup here. All you need to do is get rolled oats, pour it into a Nutribullet or a blender and blitz it up and it will make it an oat flour. Let's blitz up our other half. So you can see after blending the oats, it resembles a flour. Okay, next ingredient is we need two teaspoons of baking powder. This will help it fluff up. Okay, the next ingredient is my secret ingredient. I use chia seeds. Not only does this provide fiber and protein, but it does help the actual um, batter mold together, especially because we aren't using any eggs. So we're gonna need three tablespoons of black chia seeds. Then give the dry ingredients a quick mix so it's all blended all together. And let's put that to the side for now. All right, now for the start, they are the bananas. The more ripe, the better. Don't worry if they look black and brown. I know they don't look so appealing, but um, trust me, it doesn't actually make a difference. And the browner that they are, the better because it does actually provide more sweetness, natural sweetness without having to use any sugar. So peel your bananas, and what we're going to want to do is actually just mash them up with a fork, just so they get into a nice consistency. So add your mashed bananas into your bowl. Okay, now for our wet ingredients. I've got here some coconut oil that I've just heated in the microwave. We need to add four tablespoons of coconut oil. And now for the sweetener, I'm using rice malt syrup. We need two spoons. If you don't have rice malt syrup, it's okay. You can use honey. You can also use maple syrup. Okay, next for some milk, I'm using almond milk. Um, you need half a cup and pour that in. And that's it for the ingredients. So give it a good stir together to get all the ingredients mixed up. Once it's all mixed together, we're gonna put it on the side for two or three minutes. That'll help the chia seeds expand all the liquid that we've got in here. So this has been sitting here for about three minutes and what you can actually see is the chia seeds have all expanded a little bit because of the liquid, which will make it bind together like eggs would do in a cake batter. So look at this texture, it's exactly like it would a normal batter. All right, now for adding the chocolate, I'm using here 70% dark chocolate. You can use whatever you like. And I'm putting about 60 grams, which is about six squares. Just roughly chop them all up and put them into the batter. Now you wanna get your baking tin. I've got a banana bread tin here, and I'm gonna be using some baking paper to line the tin. That way, one, it's way easier to get it out of the tin and much less cleaning up. All right, so put your baking paper on top of your tin. And with a spatula, pour out your mixture into your tin. Once you've got the mixture in, you just wanna move it around with your spatula, just to make sure you've got it all in each corner. And just get a little bit more chocolate and push it into the top. All right, time to put it into the oven. Put it into your nice hot oven. All right, this has been baking now for 45 minutes. And we're just gonna check it with a fork to make sure it comes out pretty clean. Yep, looks perfect. If you're putting your fork into the banana bread that's coming out too wet um, and you can tell it's still not cooked, just leave it in there, in there for a little bit longer. If only you could smell this through the camera, it smells so good. My entire house literally smells like a bakery right now. Now, before you get too excited and take it out of the tin straight away, let it sit in the tin for about 10 minutes because we want it to still mold together. You don't want it to fall apart or be mushy at all. So after it's been resting, we wanna get a cooling tray. And very gently slide the banana bread off the um, baking sheet. So we want it to cool down a little bit still, about five minutes before we want to cut into it. All right, now it's been cooling, so it's the best part of the day. We can cut into it. Let's have a look. And look at that. You can just see chocolate bits all throughout. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. It's so moist and so yummy. It's so sweet without really having any sugar in there. 
absolutely delicious. I hope you do try this recipe out at home. And if you do, send me a photo and tag me in there. And don't forget to subscribe and also like and comment. See you next time. Cheers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.